Hi, everybody. It's Mary Pat Knight with Leaders Inspired. And today is Transformation Tuesday. And what a transformation we are in right now. So I want to talk with you a little bit about the process of staying in leadership when everything around you is chaotic. That's our topic for today. And it really is what everyone is talking about right now. So the first encouragement that I will offer to you is listen to your teachers, listen to your mentors, listen to the people who are offering a practical, realistic, clear, concise message that also supports you to stay in your own brain, stay in your own heart, stay in your own presence, stay in your own beingness. So let me pull that apart a little bit. When we get scared, so when we're in fear, we just do stupid things. Okay, I don't know how else to say it. Fear makes people do stupid things. And so we're in a place right now where there's a lot of fear around us. And so we are likely to lose ourselves. We're going to lose our own path. We're going to lose our own wisdom. And we're going to lose our own way of showing up in leadership. And most of you who I talk to lead other people. And you lead teams of people. And you lead people who lead teams of people. And so I, what I want you to know is that the spotlight is on you. Part of your job in leadership is to put some of your personal stuff aside so that you actually can show up in your full wisdom. And when you do that, you will courageously confront the fear that's in front of you, which even though this is a scientific thing that is happening in our community, the hysteria and the panic that might be accompanying it is very elevated. So I'm not saying don't take care of yourself. I'm not saying don't quarantine. I'm not saying any of those things. Let me be super clear with you. What I'm saying is don't let fear rule your day, your life, and your leadership because the pace of the leader is the pace of the pack. And your fear and your expressions of fear and your unwillingness to manage your emotions or being so caught up in a trigger that you can't possibly manage your emotions is trickling down to the teams that work with you. And they need you. They need your steady leadership right now. Your family needs you. Your family needs your steady leadership right now. So what does that mean? You get triggered. Understand that you're in a trigger and you have a choice in the moment. You can respond or react. A lot of us right now are reacting. Uh, take the hoarding of toilet paper. That's a reaction. The response would be, let me figure out what I'm going to need for a couple of weeks to a month and then leave the rest for the next person who's coming along. That's leadership. That's response. That's taking a deep breath in the middle of a panic and saying, what is actually true here? And how can I have positive impact? So for Transformation Tuesday, one of the things that I want you to think about is where are you veering off your own wisdom as a leader? And I want you to know it's having impact on your team. So I was talking with a colleague recently who has, um, who has a team in the retail sector. And he got on the phone with one of his retail managers, and he could hear it in her voice. The minute she picked up the phone, he could hear it in her voice. And he said, all right, Marlene, what's going on here? Because whatever you're feeling and however you're holed up in your office and whatever is going on for you is bleeding out to the rest of your team, and they need you right now. They need your firm voice, your truth your encouragement, and your empathy. Above all, they may need your empathy. So Marlene got her act together, went out and put the troops you know, in, into, into proper order and, and was very, very factual. And everyone breathed a sigh of relief. I mean, you can't stop really what's going on right now. You can lead through it. So I know this is a little bit of a longer video. I just I feel kind of um, prompted to really support you. Do not let fear take over your brain. Be smart, make smart choices, take care of your family, take care of your team, and understand that you know this time, a couple of months from now, we'll be past this, we'll be past the worst of it. And this opportunity right now in this moment in time is an incredible opportunity for you to step out in courage, to step out in wisdom, and be the leader of your life, and to be the leader of your business. So Transformation Tuesday, lead, lead from your heart, lead from your brain. Don't let fear cloud your judgment. And know that your team is also depending upon you to show this kind of leadership. We'll get through this together, all of us. And pay attention to your teachers. There's great teachers out there right now. Jack Canfield is offering 
um, stuff around this. Michael Burnoff is offering stuff around this. Uh, your spiritual teachers are offering wonderful perspectives on this that will support you, not Pollyanna support you, but will support you to, to move through a very trying time for all of us. And I'm here for you in any way that I could possibly be. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close off now, and I hope that you have found this message encouraging and that you have a little bit more strength to show up in the courage of your leadership. And remember, and I wrote about this recently, courage is not, it's not a place where you're not afraid. I mean, you're afraid. You're afraid. You, you just take action anyway. So let's all hang tight together. Be kind to each other, support each other, and most importantly, support the vulnerable people who are in our lives, likely on our teams. This is Mary Pat Knight with Leaders Inspired. Thanks for listening. <laughs>